Four things every manufacturer needs to know about electric cars. Today's episode is brought to you by engineering.com, the world's trusted source for engineering content. Check out this and many other videos on engineering.com slash TV today. Now, media manipulation and disinformation, well, it's a hot topic these days, mainly because of something big that happened in the United States on November the 3rd. But the ability of social media and the internet in general to act as sort of a high gain amplifier of noise as well as signal, well, that goes far beyond politics. If you're a manufacturer, especially in the auto industry, it's starting to affect markets. An example, electric vehicles. EV manufacturers' enterprise values, as measured by share prices, is through the roof. Decades of meteoric growth were already priced into these companies, and it's not just Tesla. Neo, Rivian, BYD, a Warren Buffett favorite, you know, and others, well, they're expected to become the Toyotas, VWs, and GMs of the 2030s. Most stock analysts, however, are not engineers, and those finance guys, well, they're missing a few critical facts that they need to know. One, electric vehicles do not represent a fundamental technological shift from internal combustion engine powered cars and light trucks. Mass production hybrids have been around since 1997 in the form of those Toyota Prius, and the ability to install electric motors in the drivetrain and batteries in the chassis, well, those things are well understood. For any manufacturer making hybrids, electric vehicles are actually less complex and easier to engineer and manufacture. Two, the switch to electric vehicles will not result in stranded assets for traditional automakers. Platforms and drivetrains are redesigned on a schedule, typically from five to seven years. Retooling a chassis is the same in engineering terms whether the clean sheet design is powered by an internal combustion engine or an electric motor. And much of the powertrain is now outsourced. Machine tools, jigs, and fixtures, well, they don't know or care whether they're making an electric motor housing or an engine block. Now, GM has demonstrated this clearly at their Orion plant in Michigan, where gasoline engine cars are built on the same line as EVs. Three, there is not and will be no shortage of batteries for EV production. Batteries are rapidly becoming a commodity, with large transnational corporations supplying the parts just like any other large tier one supplier to the industry. CATL, LG, Samsung, Panasonic, and others are building production facilities worldwide in anticipation of 10 years of increasing consumer demand for electric vehicles. Many in the EV community declared that Volkswagen's ID3 program would falter due to a lack of cells. It didn't happen. Now, fortunately for the auto industry, three decades of outsourcing has removed most of the obstacles to a fundamental change in technology. Four. Self-driving will change everything. Well, it might, but that has nothing to do with electric vehicles. For some reason, the mass media conflate the two, probably because Tesla is actively working on this technology. The fact is self-driving will be available in gasoline, diesel, and battery-powered vehicles when it rolls out, and there are now Class 8 line-haul tractors on American interstates testing the technology. The software doesn't know what powers the vehicles either. So, are EVs really the future? Well, without a doubt, yes. Costs are falling, you know, charging speed is improving, and the number of places to charge is growing exponentially. At some point, it's simply going to be cheaper and easier to charge your car rather than fill it up. But that's going to take two decades. Half a century ago, my father sat in a giant Chrysler in a daily traffic jam complaining about how long it took to get to work. Pre-COVID, I sat in that same traffic jam and made the same complaint. When EVs take over, the air will be cleaner, but the rest of it will be the same. Disruptive technology? Well, not until someone invents the Star Trek transporter. 